going to do a quick review of the Power Monkey Extreme and the Solar Monkey Extreme. I uh, just got back from a seven day hike up in the mountains, so I needed this so I could recharge all my uh, gear. I had camera, action camera, I had the telephone, and I had the watch. So all of it I wanted to charge so that I could keep updates from my blog and so on. Ultralight.com. Ultralight and comfortable.com. Um, <coughs> so I've been using this for about a year and a half now. Uh, and I've had the, mainly I've only used the Power Monkey Extreme, the battery pack, which I find to be pretty good. It's, uh, it can charge my iPhone about seven, eight times. Uh, I don't know the exact uh, battery capabilities on this one. I do know the exact power capabilities on the solar monkey, but that's a different story. So the battery pack is pretty good. Uh, press the little thing there to see it. You just put on a quick charge. You move it to the right. Charges with no problem. Uh, iPhone, if you have it in airplane mode, can charge in 45 minutes to an hour. It charges my phone battery, or charges my camera batteries, charges everything perfectly. Mm. It's actually a pretty good battery pack. Uh, the Solar Monkey, on the other hand, is um, probably better left at home, uh, or just if you can get the battery pack at a decent price without the solar power, don't buy the solar power. It's, it's actually, for the purpose, it's pretty useless. And what I mean by that is, it's a max capacity of 3 watts. This thing takes a lot more now. Uh, it takes, I would say, 2 to 3 direct days of direct sunlight to charge this fully. Uh, so you have to have fantastic weather, maybe out in the desert, maybe just your iPhone. But let me show you. It's on 3 bars now. I've had it in direct sunlight for two days, and it's given me three bars, which is about two charges on my iPhone. It's two of, I think, eight bars, three of eight bars. So the Solar Monkey uh, is useless. Don't even bother with it. Uh, which leads to the case of just the power pack. Can you buy it separately? Can you buy it for 50 bucks? I don't know. Uh, I paid way too much for the solar panel in this one. I think I paid closer to $200 for it. I think you can get it a little cheaper now. Uh, I, I will say this, for, for how useless it is, it is light, and it is pretty, and it seems rugged, and you can strap it onto your backpack with this little strap here. You can strap it onto your tent. And I have some really cool pictures, I'll actually put that, of, of it just looking really cool. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, if you actually need your battery pack to be charged, don't even bother. You can buy really good solar panels for a heck of a lot less than this one. Three watts, I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my review. Uh, I don't want to be too negative because the, the ba battery pack is good. And it, so I'm just checking over. And the battery is 9,000 uh, mAh. I'm not very technical, so I don't actually know what mAh means. But, uh, yeah, and it says here that the solar panel is 3 watts. So, what I'm saying is that the battery pack is good. Uh, and this little box that you get is pretty cool. You get a cute little box. You get all this little extra gadgets and gadgets and so on. And I think the reason why you get so many of these kind of gadgets is because they know the solar panel is pretty useless. So what you're going to be doing most of the time is just chasing after a wall socket, which again is pretty useless when you're out in the outdoor. The total weight, that's something I forgot to, to add. The total weight of both of these is about 450 grams. Um, this one's about 200, a little over 200 grams. I have the exact weights on my website.
Whatever on the blog. Uh, that's it. I don't know if I need to say too much more.